Hey everyone, Evelina Zamora here. How are you guys going? I know it's been a while. Life has been busy, so I'm just gonna name this video like a little life update. I've just got a whole bunch of things to tell you, and I feel like my hair is like been on steroids or something since my last video. I don't know if it's just because I bothered to straighten it, um, and I usually don't, but it just seems super duper long, which is nice, and you can tell that <laughs> I had the angle bob and I have not cut it since. So I'm gonna give you some updates on the bags and what's been happening, and just like a health update with me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm suffering at the moment from like chronic migraines, like every fucking day migraines. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I've had an MRA done. Hi, Steel. Um, I've tried all types of medications. Mom, I pick you up. I'm not ready to be picked up, sweetie. I've just started my video. I pick you up. What the hell is that? It's a ticket sweet. You want to eat it? It's not really. I don't know where it's been. He calls it any kind of lolly now trick or treat and he's super excited for Halloween. You're so cute. I am. Can you please go out? Mommy's filming. Can you go say hi to daddy? Okay. Okay. You come pick me up later, okay? Okay. I've had an MRI done. Um, I need to book an appointment with an ear, nose and throat specialist because I'm fairly certain it's sinus related. And every time the pressure pops in my nose, the headache either gets better or worse. I can wake up and it can be there and then I'll get the pop and it will go away. And it's it's been there for, like on my calendar, we're close to like five and a half, six weeks now. Um, I had one back in May, June that went six weeks and this is the second one that's been as long. So obviously I'm not feeling up to being as productive on anything. <laughs> um, a lot of the days I'm just sleeping and shit like that. A lot of you have suggested that I get, I don't know how to pronounce it, but a dath, dath. With an ear piercing that is supposed to help. So I might consider that. It's just, I had one when I was 16 and it was an absolute bitch to heal. And I love sleeping on my side. So anything that prohibits uh, good sleeping, is not something I'm really <laughs> looking forward to. Yeah, on top of that, Steele's sleeping. I don't know what's up with him. Like, he's just turned three. He was such a good sleeper. We'd put him in bed at like 8.30 at night. And now he's just waking up all the time or he won't go to bed at his bedtime. He kept pushing it back later and later and later until he was up later than Von and I, which is crazy. Could be like midnight. Steele, shush, please. And yeah, that's not healthy for Von and I because we're trying to work on new music for As Angels Bleed. Be quiet, sweetie. You gotta be quiet. Mommy's filming. How to keep my train of thought going. And then even when we do put him in his bed, he'll wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning and then want to come in with us. And he just doesn't want to sleep in his bed anymore. I don't understand. Again, we had him in such a good routine. So that's been very disruptive. So yeah, haven't been as active as I'd like to be. Um, also around the house, um, I am filming in a new area, which is my walk-in wardrobe. Bon just finished the wallpaper today, which is super exciting. We got our new four meter walk-in wardrobe up as soon as it's um, finished, which I just need to probably put one or two chandeliers and just kind of spice the lighting up a little bit. I'm going to do that tour. I'm going to do a little jewelry cabinet tour, tour that I promised. And of course my bedroom tour, which is looking pretty fucking epic if I do say so myself. <laughs> and yeah, also now that the weather's just getting warmer in Australia, I'm just feeling like motivated. And I bought like this awesome new corset. Check this out. Holy moly. I feel like I end up talking about my breasts, you know? <laughs> in every single video uh, apologize <laughs> no i don't so that's been going on um london was chronically sick as well we're kind of giving it back and forth to each other you know i don't know if this happens to everyone else but i get so motivated and so like enthralled with my projects and then something clicks and i'm just like you know what i'm fucking over it i need to step away from it for a while and i lose complete interest like not a little bit of interest like i fucking abandon everything. I abandoned ship. So that kind of happened with the, <laughs> the handbags and stuff like that. I'm just like, I need to do something else. And then the migraine came along and like, you know, I couldn't do anything else. So I'm like, fuck, I didn't mean have a migraine for six weeks. That wasn't my idea of fun. <laughs> but some exciting news is that I would be coming to LA with my best friend, Lisa. So I'm super excited to meet up with some of my collaborators who are in Los Angeles. So the first one that comes to mind is Lurid Fox. She's such a babe. I can't wait to meet her. Her bag is to fucking die for. It is my current 
go-to handbag that I use every day. It's not a clutch, it's bigger. It's not like a fully blown handbag, but it's not a clutch. So you can fit a lot more stuff in there. So I have been using it every day. Hopefully I will be meeting up with her. I'm also going to message Alison once I've locked in the dates and see if she can come over. Um, maybe tee that up with some esoteric performances. I think we're chatting about that. And yeah, just hang out and go to Universal Studios or Disneyland or whatever and just shopping. Oh my God, I've got to do so much shopping. And the kids What's are coming. This? It's just my bestie and me, so that's Mommy, gonna be it awesome. Mommy, take it off. Excuse me, Mommy, you've got impeccable taste, off. little one, but you are not wearing my rogue and wolf cuff, which is fucking awesome. Please don't touch the fire. Update on the bags. Lurid Fox. I can't remember if I mentioned this in a, another video, so I'm just going to recap um, very quickly. Uh, her first sample was made. We're making a few tweaks just to get it 100% right. We are fairly close though, so I think I might take some promotional photos and release what the exterior is going to look like because all of the changes we made were internal. So it's not going to make a difference. This is the first bag that will be available with both gold and silver hardware because I know a lot of you babes out there do prefer gold over silver and the interior of her bag is baby fucking pink. So I do adore how baby pink looks with both silver and gold. So yeah, that's gonna be really nice. The Goblin Queen, Alison, we had her first sample made. This new company that made the Goblin Queen's bag also made Lurid Fox's bag. And I was just lucky I got onto a really high quality company. Uh, Cause there were, <laughs> there were some problems with another company that I tried that oh, I'll tell you about in a second. Alison's came back and it was, it just wasn't her enough. Like as soon as I saw it, I'm like, it's too like new and shiny looking and I, I've said this before on Instagram I love that kind of Vikings like old vibe that she's got mixed in with kind of trad goth anyway so I've decided to change her bag to a faux leather and the leather design is called crazy horse and it's really old and textured I was inspired by the Vikings I've been watching a lot of motherfucking Vikings at the moment and when I showed Alison the other day she said the same thing she's like shit that looks like it just came off the set like a bag that Lagatha would be carrying or something um, <laughs> a little more classy I hope I got her name right so we just made it look a lot older and it does have some fake fur on it um, which was really short so we, we went from much bigger I don't know how to say that just a bigger fur like the you know when you buy a faux coat and the, the hair is kind of crazy looking so it's not like short and neat more kind of messy and I just added a bunch of studs it just it's more her and we're also making it bigger it's like a it's going to be a messenger bag not a fully blown one um, but the first one was kind of like a cute little mini messenger bag. So we're just making it bigger just so you can fit more shit in it. Because <laughs> a lot of you have been messaging me saying, please make bigger handbags. And you know, the reason that I haven't straight away come out with like full blown handbags and I want to is just the cost. So this company also made a sample for Dre Renane, but unfortunately that club isn't going forwards anymore. But the backpack sample was fucking epic. So that was like my base model design. I spent a lot of time on that backpack. So I'm going to be kind of reinventing the wheel, like, like kind of what I did with the clutches, where it was kind of like a trademark shape, but I would change the exterior and the interior, the design in general and all the hardware and things like that. And I think the first person I will be doing this with is either Drag Makins or Black Friday. Friday. I'm not sure whose will be out first. So this brings me to the next company that I had <laughs> make some samples. To me, the only way I can compare companies is if I get them to make the same bag. So I had one make Dre Renane sample and the other one was also supposed to make her sample, but because that collab fell through, I quickly changed it up and had it restyled for Drag Makins. That's all good, but the sample <laughs> I'm sure if you guys follow me, you know where I'm going with this. It had a canary yellow interior. I might actually grab the bag so you can see it. It was supposed to be fucking red. I don't know why they went with yellow. But yeah, they fucked that up a little bit. And this same second company also did the first sample for Mahafsoon. I was so excited to see her sample, but they just fucked it up on so many levels. Warning bells are ringing and I should not be working with them. What are you doing? I don't know. Ah! So this is the sample I had made for a mini backpack for Drag Makins. It is so far removed from my original design. It's it's yellow. It's not supposed to be yellow. And it's supposed to be a mini backpack. Like, I mean, it's still small, but yeah, it was supposed to be like three inches smaller than that. It might look fine. Like to a lot of you, it was fine. I had so many comments on Instagram of people wanting to purchase it. Um, but there are at least probably 10 design points that are different. For example, this is supposed to be metallic silver, not white. 
There was supposed to be like 12 rivets here. There's like 30. It's just overkill. The internal, like the thing that says drag makings, but that's, that's, they did really well on that. Studs on the side here. My straps were supposed to be studded. It was also supposed to come with a removable long shoulder strap so you could wear it as like a side bag as well. They just didn't bother with that. Ugh, sorry, Steel's supposed to be asleep so he keeps interrupting me. I keep losing my train of thought and that can't be enjoyable for you so I apologize. And the same company did my first Mahafson sample. Now this also is so different <laughs> from my design. I will pop up my design so you can see what it's supposed to look like. That I wasn't sure if I was going to show you guys, but I'm like, oh, fuck it, whatever. It's it's interesting, and someone might want to purchase it off me. It's like obviously a one-of-a-kind bag. But, yeah, the, <laughs> her is joking <laughs> with Mav soon that these look like nipples. And she's like, oh, I've got the nipple bag, and Drac has the banana bag. And, again, this is both from the same manufacturer. This w symbol here that is a cross was supposed to be an unk. Like, it's a pretty big difference. These were supposed to be like small and silver. These little rivets here were supposed to be tiny little under beautifully understated. There's supposed to be a makeup mirror and like the tag that says like Mahafsun by Evelina Zamore is supposed to be up here and sorry I'm yelling, the internal part of the bag was supposed to be black satin. I'm like fuck if they can't get all of that right. What hope is there? And then they put these stupid rivets. I, I don't like those rivets. They've got no edge. Why would I want, like, the spike cut off flat top rivets and, like, the length isn't even right? Ugh. So, so frustrating. I do. I just noticed that that looks like a little coffin. That's cool. I might actually yeah, keep that and go with that a little bit more. So, yeah, samples are happening. It's just one company that I went with was a complete disaster and they're really trying to get me to come on board for them to make the second sample but I'm like mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'll go with the company they made the fantastic first sample for Dre Renane again that one's been cancelled so I might sell that bag they made a fantastic first sample for Lurid Fox and also the Goblin Queen so now things that I'm just changing are little aesthetic changes that you know would happen anyway oh I apologize if I sound a bit nasal I'm still really really clogged up I did my nails yesterday myself I did acrylics it took me like I did let's clarify <laughs> I did acrylic over my natural nails these are my natural nails I'm loving them they're slowly growing into fucking claws it's so cool I'm so excited but yeah Vaughn's like you know you started at four o'clock and it's like eight o'clock I'm like shut up <laughs> It's a skill and my left hand was really easy to do but my right hand just looked totally fucked so I was filing that shit out for ages because the acrylic dries so hard. I've really been a late bloomer for like nails and things like that and because I play guitar, well I obviously don't <laughs> at the moment, but when I used to teach guitar obviously I always had to have short nails so through my entire 20s I have not had nails and now I'm just like loving how fucking sexy they are. Yeah, a lot of the girls that I follow on Instagram nails is just like a massive part of their look and yeah I think it's a lovely way to express yourself. I know I'm going to get comments on what I'm wearing today, these earrings are by the Pumpkin Coven and this is a matching necklace. I think you would have seen that in my last gothic jewelry haul, but just in case you missed it, they are divine. And my cuff is by Rogue and Wolf, also mentioned them as well. I find I'm always coming back to the same pieces of jewelry, but they're just so pretty. So yeah, that's about it from me, guys. Hopefully my headaches will, um, you know, dissipate entirely, one would hope. Ding! Um, and then I can, you know, do more frequent videos, but, um... I guess I should also give an update on the Black Friday and Drag Makins bag. They are both being manufactured and the ETA for them is the end of October. So that is when they should be finished if there's absolutely no delays. And then they have to ship to me. And then I need to prepare like 300 bags and I'm one person um, to be mailed out. So, you know, over the next week they, that will start to happen. November, the end of November is kind of when um, anyone that's pre-ordered one of those two bags should start to expect for them to arrive which means you will have them before Christmas which is so exciting. The other few bags that I'm working on hopefully will be available for pre-order very soon and I expect the other three bags that I'm working on hopefully will be out before the end of the year and it's always very exciting for me to have um, new bags released but I would like to start working with some new people so if you have any suggestions on who I should work with or if you want to email me yourself do it. Message me let's do something wicked.
that's pretty much all I had to say. I find it very calming to just kind of talk to you guys and let you know where I'm at and what's been happening. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.